Hi everyone, uh, I'm Jonal Page and I've posted this one uh, on my Facebook page and a lot of you asked for a video so I'm going to do something similar like this and it's all started by me playing with watercolors on watercolor paper and I will show you in a minute and it doesn't have to be with watercolors for those of you who are afraid of watercolor so I'm uh, moving for now this aside and I'm going to bring in this is a watercolor paper pad and it all started by me just playing with colors I've played with uh, greens and blues uh, on what you saw and I have here some uh, watercolors these are uh, from Pelican and I bought it like almost three decades ago so uh, if you are using watercolors the only thing that I've done is taking a watercolor brush and it's important because uh, it this kind of brush can uh, you dip it in the water and it loads with water and then you are just making the shape that you want with the water I hope you can see because <laughs> of course it's clear I'm trying to tilt it in hopes that you can see that I've done here some square with the water and once I have the shape that I want I am dipping my brush into the color that I want like so and letting it just spread no controlling it's not important here so now I'm uh, cleaning my brush and uh, taking another color and you can do whatever colors you want and I'm just dipping it and letting uh, it spread I can of course uh, direct it a little bit like here that I wanted to mix with the magenta but uh, basically I just played with it and let it do whatever it wanted now here I have squares that I've done with a water soluble a oil pastels and you can do the same thing with anything that is water a reactive another a option to do something like that is gelatos but then you don't need watercolor paper and it's better to do, to put gesso before you are using the gelatos now I've done again a, another a square and I'm just a, taking other colors I'm thinking that this page that I will do I'll a, make it a this time I'll make it very very colorful instead of uh, going only with blues and greens so I'm just playing with the color now another option for if you don't want to use watercolors with I'll just clean my brush is using a uh, felt pens the plain ones that you give kids now uh, for this to work it has to be on watercolor paper so I'm just going to do a small square here because I'm not going to I'm not planning on using it and I'm just putting some color and put some how many colors that you want doesn't matter if it's the watercolors or or this or anything that you want to use you can also use acrylics only I for blending them it's better to add a little bit of water to help them spread so as you can see I'm just playing with the color now again taking the brush and putting water all over and for this you need to put the water all over and then just let it be it will take about a 
two minutes to uh, react completely and blend. So that's the alternative to watercolors if you want more control. And even after this is blended and uh, dry, you can uh, go on top of it and add more if you want to or if you don't like what's your, what you got. So that's uh, the squares that I've done. And I've already uh, made a page with uh, playing with all kinds of colors. The next <laughs> next stage is taking a permanent marker, a black permanent marker, and I just went around each square with a scribbly <laughs> a line. And I went around twice and made it uh, with wavy line and so it won't be accurate. I hope you can see what I'm doing. The less accurate, the, the better it is for this project. So that's what I've done. And it doesn't matter where the uh, watercolor went, if it went off the edges or if it went into another square, it really doesn't matter. This whole uh, thing is very loose and not about being uh, precise. Now you can do the same uh, art journal page with everything symmetrical or with other shapes. If you like, uh, if you want to do it with circles or any other shape you can this is just what i uh, made and as i said it was just me playing with watercolor and after i've done the squares i just uh, found a way to do something with them and build some background so that's uh, about it for now i'm going to continue going over the edges of my squares as you can see and i'll be back when i'm finished now after a, i'm finished with this i'm just going to take a scissors and cut around them and again i'm leaving a little bit of white there is no fussy cutting here it just adds to the whole thing just going around and not trying to do any kind of a straight line here we go like what i've done in the other page so i'm going to finish this and i'll be back i'm back so finished a uh, cutting all the squares and just so you will see here is the little one that I've done with the felt uh, pen and as you can see it blended quite nicely and it almost looks exactly like the <laughs> watercolors maybe I will use it so now I've got all this and now it's just playing with the squares and putting them so it would be interesting for you, colorful or not so colorful, depends what you want to do, until you are satisfied with the placement. And I'm just going to um, glue them with a glue stick, that's it, nothing special and I'm just changing so I won't have the same colors uh, next to each other, so it will be more interesting. But otherwise, it's just, it's quite random and having fun with the colors. Something like that. So, if you are, if you are doing something like that and you are really concerned about keeping the order that you made, 
just take a photo with your phone or something like that so you have a reference uh, once you are starting to glue I don't really <laughs> care uh, too much so I'm just going to start and let's do some pieces and as I said I'm just using a glue stick it doesn't need anything else like so and now I'm and I'm not a uh, concerned about the placement I'm just taking pieces that won't be the same color and sticking them that's about it and I'm going to continue and I'm also uh, trying not to be again not symmetrical that I won't have lines uh, straight lines the whole point of this uh, background is not to be any kind of symmetrical or straight so I'm going to keep uh, gluing and I'll be back okay so everything is glued now then for the next phase is I've stamped on top of a uh, the layout uh, as you can see here and I've picked something that will again won't be symmetrical and, and interesting with details but not symmetrical so it will work with the whole thing and uh, this time I've picked uh, this stamp I have and I'll probably use another stamp I'm using a Momento Tuxedo Black and now I'm gonna stamp it quite randomly and also uh, on top of uh, some pieces together so it will help uh, bring everything together and not uh, each time one stamp for per a uh, square it just gives a more a uh, cohesive look and I'm putting quite a, a lot of pressure because as I have texture now also from the watercolor paper and also from the pieces that I've glued uh, on top of each other so as I said putting pressure so I will have a nice print doesn't have to be accurate but I do want it to show uh, switching for another uh, stamp this time this one it really doesn't matter just play with it and of course uh, most of the time it's better to stick for with stamps from the same set because they are uh, coordinated in terms of style but uh, this time I found that these two just work for me so they are from a different set of stamps okay and I think I will, I'm taking it from the block because I don't want the whole of it uh, I want to add a little bit in several places yeah like this and yeah I'm also feeling that this uh, needs some black splatter yeah now here I've stamped with uh, also a memento but it was nautical blue and I've used another stamp this one with gold acrylic paint I don't know if, if you can see it it's hardly noticeable it really doesn't matter just play and see what works for you and I think I'm not sure about the uh, black splatter let's go for it what's the worst that could happen so black 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 okay I haven't planned on it 
taking some black oops put too much never mind and I need a fan brush okay got the fan brush maybe I should have put a little bit more water it, for a good splatter you need the uh, paint to be um, liquidy <laughs> don't have another uh, a better word more flowish and I didn't uh, protect this side of the page never mind maybe I'll do some collaging on and I'm going outside the layout of the squares okay I think this is enough this needs to be completely dry before I'm going to stencil on it uh, here I've stenciled uh, this branch with leaves I think I will use I thought about using this this one here this is a stencil I've made uh, on acetate and oops something fell here so I'm going to list, let this dry and I'll come back I'm back so let's hope the splatter <laughs> is uh, dry on <laughs> or I will have a mess here now uh, I've picked this stencil but as you can see it's uh, small for this layout but I'm thinking maybe I will do this one and then flip it over and do another one here and the purpose is uh, for it to stick outside the lines as I said nothing is symmetrical nothing is in the borders that's the whole purpose so I'm starting uh, to stencil with gesso that I have here and makeup sponge and go easy about it take a and you don't have to stencil with gesso that's what I've done you can do if you want a silhouette like black all will also be very a uh, uh, dramatic here and beautiful I'm just going with this time with the white uh, gesso and as I, I'm I've placed it so it will stick outside the squares and it will be a little bit difficult to see it wear white on white but after uh, it's dry I'm going around it again with a scribbly line like I've done with the squares and go around all the shapes of the stencil now uh, I'm stenciling as of course on uh, something colorful and it's quite prom prominent so what I'm going to do is go about it very gently and easily <laughs> and for now you can see you can still see the colors and just it's better to take each time just a little bit and only uh, after you do uh, you go over once go again with a second or a third layer depends what you want I don't want it completely opaque but I don't want it a uh, completely uh, translucent so something in between and as you can see I'm just going over again with a second layer of the gesso and right now it's not enough to see what's going on but once I will uh, finish and add the scribbly line it will look completely uh, different so finish this and I'm gonna do another one here I'm just waiting for this to dry for a uh, the little bit of this gesso here to dry because I don't want to flip it and smear gesso all over so I'm going to, uh, to wait for everything to dry do the stencil here 
and then I'll come back with uh, the next phase of going around the shapes. I'll be back. So I'm back after stenciling with the white, again taking the permanent marker, and this is uh, from Office Supplies, it's supposed for it to be for CDA or DVD, and again just scribbly line, nothing accurate, just going around the shapes, and you can, uh, this whole page, you can do it if you want, you can do the same thing symmetrically with accurate lines and everything, if that's what you prefer, but I think this is quite freeing, not uh, needing to be precise all the time, and letting go. So on purpose, I'm just doing all kinds of uh, scribbly <laughs> lines here and just going around the shapes just a little bit more It would be quite striking, I think, to do the same thing with gessoing, uh, not gessoing, stenciling with black and doing uh, some uh, lines with white uh, around it, I think. So if you prefer that, you can go for it. Now I just want to stamp here uh, some words and again using the Momento ink pad. And let's hope it will be nice and this one I want to uh, to stamp well. Yeah, life is beautiful. So this is it. That's my page. <laughs> I hope you liked it and you will try your hand with something like that. Uh, for those of you who uh, are uh, always telling me that they are looking for me on Facebook or uh, Instagram, the details are in the description uh, box below, so uh, you can go there. And on, fa on Facebook, it's just my uh, personal page. It's not a group or anything that you need to register. <laughs> and I'm just posting them there, uh, all kinds of works that uh, uh, I don't always uh, make a video, if you are interested. And also on Instagram. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.